as an avant-garde movement in England, I think it was it was very important. Uh, in many ways, it's a continuation of and contribution to futurism, which mm. came to England, well, 1910 or so was the first visit to Marinetti. Um, uh, but, and Lewis was certainly an enthusiast for, for futurism and, uh, uh, and Marinetti until about 1913, I suppose. Um, but like many futurist movements, one of the first things it did was to actually break with futurism. Mm. But in the case of vorticism, I think there's an, there is an important kind of difference, mm. which is that Lewis felt that futurism harboured fantasies of completely transforming, mm. overcoming the limitations of life through machinery, through driving driving very fast, for example, mm. through flight and so on. And while to some extent Lewis accepted this, he nevertheless felt that, first of all, the futurists were too romantic about this, and secondly, that actually we would, humanity would still be brought up against its own limit limitations mm. that as a machine, we wear out, as he, mm. as he put it.